Hi guys, how are you doing? So, it's the eve of Yom Kippur and I wanted just to remind us all as much as we can we know that this day is very important, very great it brings a big salvation a big redemption and and forgiveness to us all and I just wanted to remind us all how we achieved that day, how we got that day. So after that we messed up big time as a nation and we sinned and we violated many rules of Hashem and we went very against and off the right way. So Moshe Rabbeinu, the main rabbi and prophet, leader of our nation, decided to take all of our sins on his back and he went up to Mount Sinai and for 40 days 4-0 four 40 days he didn't eat and didn't drink nothing not bread not water anything he was only only asking for forgiveness from Hashem for us and after 40 days and 40 nights so Hashem Yidvach answered to him Salachti ki dvarecha I forgive them like that you asked me to. Hashem was about to punish us on our mistakes, on our sins, and Moshe Rabbeinu, the rabbi, the holy righteous man, decided to take it on himself and went up to Mount Sinai to fight and argue, to pray, and to bring down salvation to our nation. And that's what he did. And Hashem Yidbarach in the end forgave us like Moshe told him to. So please put Moshe Rabbeinu in your mind today when you're going to synagogues to pray, when you're fasting, when you're doing your thing. Put Moshe Rabbeinu into your heart. Put the fact that Moshe Rabbeinu is bringing that opportunity for forgiveness to us all. Without that Holy man, Moshe, Aish Moshe, we wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't have that possibility of doing tshuva. Without those real righteous people, Moshe and Aaron, Yosef, David, Shlomo, Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, and the holy women, mothers, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Leah, Dvora, Ruth, Tamar, and on. Without all of those righteous ones, we wouldn't be here today. So, a little bit of gratitude into this amazing day. And may Hashem bless us all with complete forgiveness and happiness. Amen. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.